there's few things in this world that give you as much joy as giving a gift to someone else. So this bike is a gift. It's a gift from several of you, several of my subscribers and people who have watched my videos have chipped in to give this gift to a local youth. When I was looking for someone to give uh, a Christmas bike to, one, this is the second Christmas gift bike I've done. I did one for a young girl and uh, that video I released last week. This though is a much more involved one. I reached out to the local mountain biking team and asked the coaches to help identify a youth who would benefit from from a good mountain bike. Mountain biking is a much more common sport now. <laughs> if I was a kid growing up and had a mountain biking team, one, I would have loved to have been on it, and two, I probably would have not been able to afford it. Um, good racing mountain bikes are, are expensive, and It's often difficult for youth to be able to compete in mountain biking uh, without uh, a significant investment. So that was one of the reasons why I reached out to the mountain biking team to see if there was something I could do, uh, something the old shovel community could do for for a youth in the neighborhood and. With the coaches that I talked to, there was one youth that really stuck out, and that was Carson. So Carson is one of four kids in his family. The other three all have varying levels of special needs. And because of that, Carson is often forgotten. In fact, he's called himself at times the forgotten child. Because of the special needs in his family also, it makes having a nice mountain bike and competing um, even more difficult. So as I learned more about Carson, I really wanted to give him a life-changing gift. And to do that, I reached out to several of you I reached out on my YouTube channel, I reached out on Instagram, I had friends help share the message, and together we raised enough money to get Carson's dream bike. You see, Carson, his dream bike is a Santa Cruz tall boy. And actually recently, as his mom was probing around to find out what colors he liked and things like that, he mentioned um, that every kid's dream bike for Christmas is a red bike. And so, that's what we're giving Carson. A red Santa Cruz tall boy. And I'm doing this with the help of Spray.Bike also. Thank you to them for providing the paint for this bike. I really quite like it. It makes it so an amateur like me can make awesome paint jobs just by using their paint and uh, my, my Cricut vinyl printer that allows me to make these awesome masking layers for the bike. So not only did Carson want a, a red bike, but from what his mom could glean from him and looking at his his perusal on the internet of different bikes, um, seeing that he liked black and red and gold, we decided on this, these colors for this build. So with the spray dot bike, I did several layers just masking with the vinyl. And then to top it all off at the end, I did three layers of clear, clear coat to seal it all in. 
and I really think it turned out great. I also wanted to update the fork and make it match. And so uh, I replaced the, the vinyl stickers on, on the fork with new gold vinyl stickers that match the bike frame. I really feel like this completed the, the look and the feel and unified um, the different parts of the bike.
Has he watched some of my videos? Yeah. I'm Rob. Yeah. Old yeah. shovel. Remember? Merry Christmas, Carson. Remember the video I showed you the purple bike? Oh, yeah. And some of the other things? Cars. Everybody who's here helped to donate toward your bike, as well as people that we don't know. So. So much better. <laughs> That's good. Again, I'd like to thank those that contributed to make this bike happen. To uh, Austin Kelly, Scott Hansen, James Keefe, Trent Hodgson, Bountiful Bikes, Brian and Bronwyn Freeze, Greg Butler, Harry Davis, Larry Luce. Lori Shedlock to also Poppy John and Grandma Sue Papa and Nana Palmer Carson, your mom and dad and several others who requested to remain anonymous I was actually really touched by the outreach that uh, was shared with me to make this possible. So, <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Look for opportunities to give those old things new life. Look for opportunities to make a difference in other people's lives. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.